Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us for another episode of Condo Insider. Condo Insider is a show uh, re uh, regarding and relating to people who uh, live and work in condominiums. And I'm here today with a very, very timely uh, topic. Um, most associations have completed their budgets. The letters have gone out to the owners about with the bad news that maintenance fees are going up. And I'm hearing the grumbling and the moaning and the groaning from a whole lot of owners who wonder, well, how am I going to get through uh, next year? And and uh, some of the other stuff that are affecting, you know, the owners' economic health. And we have a solution from the state of Hawaii, uh, the, the, with the Department of Hawaii Housing Finance and Development Corporation. And I'm very happy to have with me today as my guest. I've got uh, two people, Kaino Severson and uh, Kalia Kremer, and uh, they're going to be talking to us about a new program uh, that the state is going to be uh, putting out, starting, uh, that's going to bring financial relief to condo owners. And so, you know, let's get started right now. Uh, who, who wants to start? Uh, Kainalu? You want to give us an intro as to what this program is all about? <laughs> Yeah, of course. I'll, I'll I'll give a brief intro about myself first, and I'll hand it over to Kalia to explain okay. the program. Uh, but yeah, thank thank you, Jane, for having us. Um, my name is Kainalu. I I do oversee um, all the emergency financial assistance programs at CNHA. So we're very proud to um, be part of this this show and kind of introduce our Oahu homeowners program. I'll kick it off to Kalia. Oh, by the way, what is CN CNHA? Why don't you tell our viewers who you guys, you know, who, who you're affiliated with? Yeah, of course. Uh, so CNHA uh, um, for Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement. Uh, we're located on the west side of Oahu, headquartered in Kapolei. And I think the the mission of CNHA kind of speaks for itself. We're here, here to advance um, the Native Hawaiians and as well as the entire uh, population of Hawaii. And you know this program that you guys are going to be talking about today. You don't have to be Native Hawaiians, right? Correct. To, to, that to, is correct. To benefit from it. Yep. Yep. M majority of our programs are are not Native Hawaiian specific, so it, it's applicable to to everyone throughout Hawaii. Okay. And you guys have just been designated to basically to implement this program that's uh, 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 developed by the uh, Hawaii uh, Housing Finance and Development Corporation. Is that true? Yeah, that's correct. So we were, we're the administrators of the program um, and, and we administer a, a lot of different programs for partnering with the state uh, Department of Hawaiian Homelands, the city and so forth. But this okay. this one is specifically uh, with HHFDC. OK, uh, why don't you tell us about the program? What is what's the name of it? And what does it do? Yeah, of course. Um, so the Oahu Homeowners Assistance Fund Program, or OHAF, is a federally funded program that provides um, services, counseling services, and financial relief to homeowners who have fallen behind on their expenses as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, each county has its own program. Uh, the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement is the nonprofit organization administering half for Honolulu County. Okay, and so you know, so really, basically, helps people who are having a financial hardship. Correct. And could that mean also the fact that I mean, not only mortgage payments. What about maintenance fees? Yeah, absolutely. So we assist with both mortgage and non-mortgage assistance. Um, so that's maintenance fees, um, assistance with your HECO bill, your board of water bill, and other eligible expenses. And is and and is this like a loan? Do you have to pay it back, or is it? a grant where you, you get the funds and you don't have to pay it back. This is a grant. Yeah, you don't have to pay it back. Uh, oh, and, and is there like a limit that you can apply for? Is there like a, 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 a cap on the funds that you're, you're allowed to receive? Yeah. Um, so in addition to um, financial assistance for past due payments, we also provide um, housing and uh, housing counseling and legal aid services to those who qualify. Um, the combination of monetary assistance as well as counseling services uh, cannot exceed $30,000. So $30,000 is the uh, cap for each oh, okay. eligible applicant. And, you know, you talk about financial hardship. 
as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. So can you give, give examples of what kind of hardship you have to suffer in order to take advantage of this program? Yeah, so that can include um, job loss. You know, there are those who are furloughed as a result of the pandemic who have incurred an uh, increase in expenses such as childcare expenses. Um, and for this program specifically, you would have to prove a 10% impact on your, on your um, household, either income or expenses. I see. And what type of expenses or services the program offer? Um, so we offer assistance with HOA, um, HECO, Board of Water, um, maintenance, insurance bills. Um, so if you have to be delinquent on your expenses in order to qualify for that type of assistance. Okay. And uh, so what are the eligibility requirements uh, for the uh, Oahu um, HAF program? Yeah, so there are a list of eligibility uh, requirements. Uh, you must be an Oahu resident, at least 18 year, years and older. Uh, you must be a homeowner. The, there is an income cap. The household income must be at or below 150% AMI or area median income. Uh, you must prove your financial hardship. You must be willing to go through count, counseling or legal aid services. Uh, you cannot have uh, interest in any other real property, whether full or partial interest. You cannot have um, five months or more of uh, uh, liquid assets. And lastly, uh, you must be delinquent on the expenses that you're requesting assistance for. Okay. And um, when you say proof of financial hardship, how, how do you prove that? Do you, you know, do you just show that you haven't been able to pay your bills or? Yeah, so proof of financial hardship, we would request your income statements or expense statements in order to prove your 10%, the 10% impact on your uh, household income or expenses. Um, and the list of, I know it's a long list of eligibility requirements that's available to view on our website as well. Okay, and we have now put uh, some information on, on the screen, hawaiiancouncil.org Oahu Home. That's where people should be logging in right to apply if they're interested in this program yes and we're going to th th that, that 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 information is going to be scrolling you know throughout the program so people sh i mean people should look for it. that's where they have to go to apply for the program so what kind of properties are available what kind i mean you said property ownership so so condo owners are you know can can take advantage of this Correct. right and yes. single family homeowners as well Yep, that's right. Um, so uh, condos are included in properties that are eligible. So eligible properties would include uh, single family homes and condominium units um, located in Hawaii and occupied um, by the homeowners as their primary residence. Okay, so they can't be investors. They have to be owner occupants in order to apply for these for these grants. That is correct. Okay. And so that would also apply to uh, HOAs, the planned uh, unit developments, you know, like like these uh, homeowners associations, like they have in EVA, you know, they're single family homes, but it's like a community association it would yep. apply to them as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. And um, how much assistance, I mean, you said it was 30,000, so it's 30,000 max per applicant? Yes, yeah, 30,000 uh, maximum per applicant. Um, and that's inclusive of uh, any, uh, legal aid services that were provided as well as counseling services. Okay, and, and how would the homeowners um, apply for this program? Yeah, so you can apply at our website. Um, that's hawaiiancouncil.org forward slash Oahu Home. Um, and the website includes all the details regarding our program, the eligibility requirements, as well as the list of um, required documents needed to apply. The application itself would take about 15 to 20 minutes to fill out. Um, and if you need assistance, and if you need further assistance, if you're not able to fill out an application online, uh, we can arrange an in-person application where we can have one of our care advocates assist. Um, and you can give us a call. Um, our, phone, our phone number here is 808-596-8155. Okay, why, why don't you say that phone number again, in case people just didn't get it? Yeah, sure. So the phone number is 808-596-8155. Okay. 
Okay, so so you know if they uh, can't get online, at least if they can call you, right? Yeah. You you will send somebody out to help them. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Are there any non mortgage homeowner expenses eligible under the Oahu program? Yes. Uh, so non mortgage expenses again include um, homeowner association fees, maintenance fees. Uh, we can also assist with um, real property taxes, uh, homeowners insurance, and any other utility bills that fall out of the program. And these funds are from where you, I mean, I know you said that it was federal funds. So federal funds that were given to the state of Hawaii? That is correct. And is there like a limit at, and at some point, you know, how long does this program, is this program gonna go on? Do you know, until the money runs out or? Yeah, essentially, yes, until the money runs out. Yeah, so we're looking for uh, at the program and it's projected to last for about three years. Oh, okay. All right. Do homeowners have to be delinquent in their mortgages to apply for other eligible homeowner expenses under the Oahu program? Uh, no, uh, the homeowners do not have to be delinquent on their mortgage expense in order to qualify for other expenses. They can still receive uh, assistance with uh, any other non-mortgage um, items as you know as long as they they do qualify but you wouldn't necessarily have to be delinquent on your mortgage in order to get assistance with other types of expenses okay yeah and, and, oh, oh sorry, sorry jane i'll also um add to that i, I mean i for our condo segment of our beneficiaries the hoa fees are incredibly popular mm -hmm. you know so al although they may be able to have paid their mortgage or come to some kind of agreement with their lender, maybe even pay their utilities, what slips through it ends up being the association fees and dues. So, so that's where it's very popular for our program for con, um, condo owners. Uh -huh. And, you know, um, you know, the payments, the, you know, once somebody applies and they're, they're, they're approved, are the payments made to the applicant or are the payments sent directly to like, like let's say the mortgagee, or to the, you know, to the state of Hawaii, I mean, to the city and county for real property taxes. In other words, does the money come uh, to the to the person who's supplying or does it go to who, who's supposed to get paid? Uh, so it'll go to so payments will go directly to the vendors. Um, I see. Yeah. So that means when when you apply and you say, you know, I need, uh, you know, I, I, I need some help making my uh, maintenance fee payments. That means the payments would go directly to the association. It wouldn't go, or or if it's a uh, if they're um, delinquent on their mortgage, the payments would go directly to the lender. Yes, that is correct. Okay. And um, how how long do these these payments are? How long? I mean, is it like do they have to apply every month, or you know how long do you like if if somebody's delinquent on the mortgage and you're you're paying it this month? Do they have to apply next month so that you, that you will, or, I mean, does it continue? Um, no, so it's a one-time assistance um, program. So it's set up as a non-recourse grant. Um, so once you've applied and you've received assistance and you wouldn't be able to come back to, to reapply. Um, and I'll, I can take you through the application process and what that looks like for each applicant. So as soon as an applicant applies, um, they'll have one-on-one -on -one assistance with a care advocate um, during the initial phase of the application process. The application will go under review. Um, and at that point, at the end of that process, we'll determine that the the applicant is conditionally eligible. We will then refer the applicant to either one of our um, partnering organizations. So we partner with the Legal Aid Society of Hawaii and the Hawaii Home Ownership Center for our counseling services. So depending on the needs of the applicant, they'll be referred to either one of these organizations to receive their counseling services. We'll then move on to the third phase of the process, which is confirming loan status and delinquency with the um, mortgage lenders, which is the more technical side of things, um, before we move on to actually dispersing to um, each of the vendors. So that means that if if they if you get them if you, you apply to the program and they make the payment, let's say, uh, for the December mortgage payment, mm -hmm. if they can't make the January, they would have to apply in January again, right? Yeah. No, so it's a non-recourse grant. Um, it's a one-time assistance program. Once you come through um, and apply, we'll, uh, we'll cover the uh, delinquent expenses. Uh, you wouldn't be able to come back through and reapply. 
So it's only one one time you can apply. Correct. So so it might even be better to wait until you're two or three months in arrears or, you know, or, or you know. <laughs> well, because... I will say that the goal of the program is to prevent displacement, and to prevent dis uh, foreclosure for for any of the applicants that um, that apply. Oh, so that's why you all you you require them to go to the legal aid for counseling. That's right. Because because there's there's the issue of, of foreclosure involved. Yes. And, and you want to make sure that the uh, applicant, you know, is educated about, you know, the uh, consequences of not making these payments. Yes. Yeah, we work really closely with our partnering organizations to ensure that the applicants are aware of the requirements of the program and are able to get back on their feet after they've um, received assistance through OHAF. Okay, so this is basically, you know, just to uh, uh, help people, you know, who, who are in financial uh, distress to basically get on their feet. It's not something that's going to be repeated over a period of time. That's right. I see. Okay. Um, do you have to be Native Hawaiian? I think I asked you this. Do you have to be Native Hawaiian to apply for the program? Uh, no, you, you do not have to be Native Hawaiian to apply for the program. Yeah, we assist all eligible homeowners in Hawaii. Okay, and how does the application process work? Uh, so yeah, after the applicant submits their application, we'll go through a review process um, here at CNHA with our partnering organizations and with the uh, mortgage lenders and vendors that we work closely with prior to disbursement. If anybody has any questions regarding the program, you know, before they apply, is there any place they can call and you know, get their uh, questions answered before they actually go forward with the application process? Yes, of course. So um, our information is located on our website. So our phone number is located on our website as well as um, our uh, email address um, for OHAF. Um, you can go there or you can give us a call. Um, I believe the link to our website will be um, on a ribbon here on the, on the screen. Um, but the website is hawaiiancouncil.org forward slash Oahu Home. Okay, there it is, right? Yep. That's that's the one that people should go to uh, in order to to uh, uh, to to uh, apply for this. And can they go now? I mean, is the program has the program started already? Yeah, the progr program started and is still open. And we encourage um, applicants to visit the website and um, you know gather their uh, their uh, documents and give us a call or shoot us an email if they have any questions prior to submitting an application. Okay, when did, when did this program begin? I mean, uh, I, I know I, I was contacted by um, uh, um, uh, the Hawaii Housing Finance and Development Company last week. Uh, so when was this program, when did it, when did it begin? Uh, so the program launched in uh, January of this year. I see. Yep. And and is it part of a, a, a larger program? Because you said it was federal funds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, the program is now has now launched in all 50 states. Yeah. And is available in all four uh, in three counties here in Hawaii. And I can well, take it. Yeah. One other that. issue. I mean, does this apply to renters? It had, do you have to be an owner? It doesn't apply to the renters. That, right. Okay. So I, I can take that, Jane. So so these funds do flow down from the U.S. Treasury. It was passed in the American Rescue Plan Act. Mm -hmm. um, so there's different segments. So this one is for homeowner assistance fund as far as the allocation. So mm -hmm. renters got their own and homeowners have have this one, which is completely separate. Um, so we administer only the Oahu um, Island. So if Anyone from outside of Oahu County um, that is interested, they, they can go to HHFDC's website and they can see who, uh, which nonprofit is administering those programs. Okay, I think that, that kind of segues into the, the next question is, what if I live on another island in Hawaii? Is there a mortgage relief program for my island? Right, so they, 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 they should all be up. Um, so some of our, our, our great nonprofit um, friends uh, run those programs, but you can go to HHFTC's website um, and you can, you can, they have links to those, those programs. 
this is all very, very helpful. And, you know, so, you know, we thank you. We, you know, we, you know, cause uh, I know so many people, you know, in, in this industry and it's always, you know, nice to know that there are programs out there, you know, that are going to help some of our uh, constituents, some, you know, unit owners who are facing financial hardship. And, you know, and like I said before, we have, you know, this is the end of our budget season and the letters all went out to unit owners as of December 1 as to what their maintenance fees are going. And I've heard from a lot of associations that their maintenance fees went up anywhere from 15 to 22 percent this year. So, you know, that that's a big hit, to, you know, and and so, you know, that means that, you know, uh, maybe their mortgage payments can go up, but now they're paying more in maintenance fees. And I'm I'm sure because of the inflation, you know, their grocery bills are gone up. We and our electricity at our condo, and we're in the process of putting in PV, but that's a, a whole, you know, another expensive process. But our electricity went up 25% from our budget last year because we're still on HECO. Yeah. So, you know, we fa face a lot of challenges. And you know, we are so grateful that, you know, that you guys have come to us to give us you know information about this program because it comes at you know right in the nick of time so to speak because i'm sure there are homeowners who are getting their letters from their associations saying oh my goodness what am i going to do now my maintenance fees went up 22 percent do you do you get involved in talking to these uh, uh applicants who apply to find out what their you know what their situations are we hear the stories every day about increased expenses and applicants that are falling on hard times. Um, and, you know, we've, we've been able to, to assist and, and help get a lot of homeowners back on their feet and cover these delinquent expenses. And some of them have really built up over time. You know, those who have, were laid off due to the pandemic and weren't able to catch up on their expenses or weren't able to, to pay their expenses for a long period of time, we were able to come in and assist. Right. And, you know, uh, and a big segment of the people who live in condominiums, they're retired pe per, you know, people who are on fixed incomes. And, you know, so, you know, yes, they're going to get uh, a high, you know, a higher than normal increase in their, you know, social security payments, as, you know, but they're not going to, you know, and I think it, I think they said it was going to go up 8%, but that's not going to cover the 22% increase in maintenance fees or the 25% increase in HECO charges. And, you know, so so these folks are, are gonna have a challenge, you know, paying their bills going forward. So this loan could, could help them as well, right? I mean, this program, not, not loan, I take it back, this program. Yes, yes. This program may be able to assist um, as long as they qualify, um, but yeah, absolutely. Okay, and so, if, if, and people, even if they, you know, don't, don't know if they qualify, they should call and check because it doesn't hurt. I mean, it doesn't cost them anything, right? To call uh, and uh, call you guys and ask you questions because if, if, if they qualify, you know, they're gonna get the assistance up to $30,000, you know, to help them, you know, over this financial hurdle, at least, at least in the short term. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we definitely encourage, you know, if they're even after going through the website and there's anything that, you know, is, isn't understood to give us a call or just shoot, shoot us an email um, to get a better understanding. And we're more than happy to help. OK, and so you you estimate that the program will be in, in effect for about three years. Before the money runs out. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, at, at this point, may, maybe two more years or until the funding runs out. So we, we encourage everyone who's in, in this hardship position um, to apply and, and seek for assistance. OK, you know, we're getting close to the end of the program. Do you guys want, you know, I, I'll give you the platform, you know, famous last words as to why people should, you know, apply for this program. COVID impacted everyone, right? And so if, if you're if you're still impacted and you're a homeowner on Oahu, please reach out and give us a call. Go to our website. Um, we can assess your eligibility and see, see if you qualify. Uh, we have great community partners, uh, as mentioned, Hawaii Homeownership Center and Legal Aid Society of Hawaii. So if the direct funds may not be needed, we do have a lot of services available for you. And, and so please apply and hopefully we can we can help those in need. Thank you.
Well, thank you both, you know, for being with us today. Uh, you know, uh, let me tell you, I mean, this is such good news. Uh, and we need all the good news that we can get because it's been, you know, the, the this end of the year has been, you know, very disappointing. I mean, with, you know, with the market, you know, kind of bottoming out and, you know, nobody buying homes anymore, the interest rates going up. I mean, it's been very, uh, you know, it's very been, it's been kind of disturbing watching all of this and figuring out what, where the light is at the end of the tunnel. And then now we have, you know, these increasing maintenance fees. So, you know, this is a godsend. So thank you so much for being on, on the program and bringing us this good news, uh, you know, that is going to help a whole lot of people, I hope. And I hope all, all of you guys who are out there uh, watching the program, if you can't, you can't benefit from it, at least tell your neighbors and, you know, pass the, get the word out that there is a program, there is money, and it's not a loan. So if you qualify, you know, please, please apply. And if you and if you're not sure, at least go to the website or and and call and talk to you know people at uh, CNHA and and find out you know you know what the scoop is to see if you know there's some way you can benefit from it you know because you know it, it it is free money you know to help you out in, in this time of you know financial crunch. So thank you very much, uh, Kainalo and Kuya for being with my guests today, and you know for our viewers. Please uh, tune in next week for another episode of Condo Insider, the home, uh, the, the the show regarding uh, uh, people who live and work in condominiums. And so uh, thank you again for joining us today. And uh, please tune in next week. Thank you and mahalo. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.